Good morning, everyone, and welcome to online story time from the Lincoln County Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda, and we are really excited that you guys are here with us today to talk about butterflies. All right. Good morning, Kelsey. Thanks so much for joining us. All right. Can you guys pat your heads? Good job. Can you pat your shoulders? All right. Can you clap your hands? We are going to clap and say hello. Are you ready? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Thank you guys so much for being here with us this morning. All right. Today is Thursday, June the 4th. So we're going to count to four because today's number is the number four. Ready? One two, three, four. Today's number is the number four. All right, and today is Thursday, so we're gonna make our H in sign language. And when we spin it around in a circle like this, it means Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Today is Thursday, June the 4th. All right, now let's see what tomorrow is. Are you ready? Can you give me a thumbs up? Put it on your cheek like this. This is tomorrow, 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 and tomorrow is Friday. So we have to do our letter F in sign language and we spin it around in a circle like this. And tomorrow is Friday, Friday, Friday. Good job. Friday, Friday, Friday. All right. Let's see what the weather is like today. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there sun? What's it like outside? Is it snowing? No. Is it raining? No. It's a bright and sunny day today. It's going to be really nice and warm. It's going to be maybe a little hot today. It's going to be a nice and sunny day. Yeah. All right, we have a special friend that came to visit with us today. Are you guys ready to see our special friend? All right, our special friend, are you ready? Here she is. You see if you know what kind of animal she is, okay? There she is. All right, she is a chicken, but she's a girl chicken, and girl chickens are called hens. Can you say that? hens yeah and her name is hannah hannah the hen can you say good morning hannah good morning hannah and hannah the hen brought us some things today that start with the letter h <gasps> just like when we do thursday <gasps> that's our letter h all right let's see what hannah brought us today that start with the letter h hannah just like hannah ha <laughs> ha hannah brought us a Ha ha hose. Ha ha hose starts with H. Let's see what else Hannah brought us today. Hannah brought us a ha ha hand. Ha ha hand starts with H. Let's see what else she brought us. She brought us something to eat. She brought us a ha ha hot dog. Hot dog, ha ha, hot dog starts with H. Oh, she brought us an animal. Are you ready? Another animal that starts with H. It's a ha ha hippo. Good job. Ha ha hippo starts with H. All right, we've got a couple more now. Ready? She brought us a ha ha house. Ha ha house starts with h and she brought us one more thing are you ready she brought us a ha ha hat ha ha hat starts with h look h a t spelled hat ha ha hat good job friends hannah brought us all sorts of cool things that start with the letter h today thanks hannah thanks hannah the hen she brought us all sorts of cool things. Good job, everybody. All right. 
So we are going to do our letter H in sign language, but we're already really good at that, aren't we? Because we do our Thursday every week, don't we? So there's our H in sign language. That is perfect. Good job. Good job. And good morning to our friends, the McCowan boys. Good morning, friends. All right. So we are going to do our, we're going to sing our A, B, C's. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job singing ABCs, everybody. All right, today we have books about butterflies, and I'm really excited to read these books with you. The first book we have is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. He is so very hungry. And this book is by Eric Carl. So we are gonna sing our author song because the author writes the words. Ready? The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho, did you know the author writes the words? Good job. All right, and this book is by Eric Carl. Eric Carl. Good morning, Chloe and Willa. Good to see you guys today. All right, Eric Carl wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you guys have a favorite food? Yeah. I really like to eat pizza. I think pizza is very yummy. Do you think caterpillars eat pizza? No. All right. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. Let's see. Can you find the little egg? Look, there he is. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. He's a tiny little egg. What's in that tiny little egg? Oh, let's find out. Ready? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Look at that warm sun. The warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny, very hungry oh, caterpillar. He's very hungry. He started to look around for some food. Oh, look, he found some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. He was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, a lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a piece of watermelon, a slice of watermelon. Oh no, that night he had a stomach ache. Oh no, he doesn't look very happy. What do you think happened? Yeah, I think he ate too much food. Yeah, sometimes if you eat too much food, you get a tummy ache. Yeah, look at all that food he ate. That was a lot of food. And then he didn't feel good. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. After that, he felt much better. Look, he ate through that green leaf, and look at him now. Now he feels much better. He feels much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Oh, he was a big 
fat caterpillar. Look at him. He's so big. Oh my goodness. Look at that big caterpillar. Oh my goodness. He's so big. Oh my goodness. That's because he ate all that food. He built himself a small house called a cocoon. He built it all around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in his cocoon. There's his cocoon. And pushed his way out. So he lived right in there for two weeks. Then he nibbled a little hole and he pushed his way out. And what do you think happened? <gasps> he became a, <gasps> a butterfly. Oh my goodness, he was a beautiful butterfly. So cool. So he started out as an egg and then the egg hatched and then he was a tiny little caterpillar. And then he ate and he ate and he ate and he got bigger and he got bigger and he got bigger. And then he built himself a house called a cocoon and he stayed in there for two weeks. And then he nibbled a little hole and he pushed his way out. And what was he? He was a beautiful butterfly. Yeah, very, very cool. I like that story a lot. All right, we are going to sing our wheels on the bus, and we're going to make them go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town. Good job, everybody. All right, our next book is called Butterfly, Butterfly. It's a really pretty book. I like this book. In this book, we also see lots of other outside insects too. So let's take a look. One day, Lucy, saw a beautiful butterfly. Look at that beautiful butterfly. It has circles on its top wings and stripes on the bottom. It's so pretty. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. So fun. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. Oh, do you think we can help her look for the butterfly? Can we help Lucy find the butterfly? Okay. But she did find a pink earthworm wiggling on the ground. Oh, she looked under the pots. Is the butterfly under there? No, but there's a pink earthworm and he's wiggling. Can you wiggle like an earthworm? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. But no butterfly, we gotta keep looking. A brown spider busy spinning hit her web. Oh, look, she found a brown spider spinning her web. Let's count the spider's legs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The spider has eight legs, but still no butterfly. Good morning, Miss Kinsey. Thanks for joining us today. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle. Oh, and is this a butterfly? No, that's a ladybug. And a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. But what are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for a butterfly. We gotta keep looking. She saw a snail 
with an orange shell slithering. Oh, look at that beautiful orange shell. So pretty. She saw three purple caterpillars munching on a leaf. Oh, let's count the caterpillars. One, two, three. This one kind of looks like a butterfly, but this is called a dragonfly. She saw a shimmering blue dragonfly. So pretty. But still no butterfly. But she found lots of really cool insects. And a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing around. Bzzz. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. Look at that beautiful bee. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. She looked and looked. But she didn't see the butterfly anywhere. Where did she look? She looked in the bushes. She looked in the trees. She looked under her watering can. She looked under the pots. But still, no butterfly. Hmm. Lucy laid down in the cool grass to wait. Then, high in the sky, what do you think she saw high in the sky? Oh my goodness, what do you think she saw high in the sky? She saw a butterfly! Look at that flying butterfly. And look, Lucy is so happy that she found the butterfly. Wow, so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that book. Hi Kylie, thanks for joining us today. All right. We have so many friends with us today. That makes me so happy that you guys are all here for story time. All right, we love sharing stories with you guys. It was so fun to talk all about butterflies. If you go outside today, you might see a butterfly. I saw a butterfly yesterday flying around. I think they're really cool. All right, we are going to put some activities, some butterfly activities, in the comments section of this video so you can check those out. Um, also, I uh, wanted to let you guys know if you are doing a thousand books before kindergarten, you can do that. Um, on, you can track those books online now. Um, and if you have any kiddos who are in kindergarten um, or older, then they can do the sim summer program, the summer reading program, and you can do that online as well. And you can find more information on our Facebook page. So wanted to let you guys know. And we will see you guys next Tuesday for online STEM and next Thursday for online story hour, both at 10 o'clock. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We are going to do our goodbye song. We're going to wave and we're going to say goodbye. Are you ready? We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.